Good evening and welcome to Plymouth State Men's Ice Hockey Preseason Press Conference. Today we have Head Coach Craig Russell, Senior Captain Michael Economos, Senior Assistant Captains Ryan Callahan and Eric Strum, and Sophomore Goalie Evan Morale. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks. Coach, starting with you, you mentioned last season before playoffs that you would think of the season would be a failure if the team didn't win the Mascat Conference. Uh, after falling to Salem State in the championship game 4 nothing last year, do you still think the, the season was a failure? And if so, um, kind of what are your ex expectations for the year to turn that around? Uh, as, as far as goal setting, yes, it, it was a failure. I mean, the, the goal at the beginning of the year was was to win the championship, and we fell short of that. Um, a lot of different factors, but at the end of the day, we lost that game. So um, coming into this year, we had some things that we needed to address with the lineup, uh, needed more size, more speed. Um, I think we've addressed that so far this year. It seems to be that way. Um, so, you know, it was a good first week of practice, and, you know, we'll see how things shape up looking at Utica on Saturday. Um, but uh, so far, so good. Mike, second year as a captain. Uh, what are your team's ex expectations for you as a leader? Uh, well, my expectations are just like coaches um, want to win the MASCAC championship. Uh, we had the opportunity of winning that sophomore year, and it was a great feeling. But um, we've also got the chance to feel what it's like to lose. And uh, that's something that I don't want to go out like, you know, uh, want to be want to be another top team in, in our conference and, and hopefully in all of uh, Division Three this year. So I think we have the team that can do that and uh, the leadership group that can do that with uh, my assistant captains this year. So uh, that's that's our ultimate goal is to win the MASCAC and go as far as we can. Uh, this one's for Ryan. Ryan, you missed 10 games last year uh, due to injury. You're kind of on and off towards the end of the season. How did that affect you? Um, as a whole last season, and where do you see yourself in terms of your health uh, coming into this season? Um, yeah, obviously missing games to injury, you know, is, it's never fun watching your team play. Um, but that's part of the game. Um, the style that I play is, you know, a gritty one and, you know, blocking shots or, you know, getting in on the forecheck and, you know, it's, it's all part of the game. But, I mean, as of right now, it's, I feel great. Um, you know, hopefully no more injuries this year. I've, I've had two surgeries over the last two years, so trying to cut that down. But uh, just being back on the ice with the guys is is something that you know you always want to be. You never want to be watching. Um, so as far as that goes, I'm excited to get the season started Saturday. This one's for Eric. Eric, a good season for you last year. You had 10 points, four goals, six of six, and a plus five rating. You have 11 goals and 23 assists through your career so far. Would you classify your style of play as an offensive defenseman? And are you expecting to put up the same kind of numbers this season? Uh, I mean, the numbers is not really something that I focus on. Goals and assists, when they come, when they come. Most important thing that I like to focus on, and I've talked to a coach a lot about this, the plus minus, I think, that speak more for, for the value of your game. And I mean, obviously, I want to be a two-way player and contribute both offensively and defensively. So we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll try to play my best game out there. This one's for Evan. Evan, big shoes to fill out after Goran Caesar leaves last year. What are you doing to prepare for this role? Just playing my game. Um, you know, there was a lot to learn, learn from Gordo last year. Uh, definitely one, you know, one of the best goalies in history here. Um, but yeah, just stick to my game. Stick to what me got, got me here. Um, you know, you can get caught up in all the different styles of play now and all the, you know, potential there is. But, you know, you got to get back to basics and, you know, figure out really what got you here at the end. Evan, just continuing um, on about you. Uh, game against Utica this week. How are you preparing so far th during this week of practice for it? Just like any other game, um, you know, a little bit bigger crowd. So the nerves are definitely going to get going for warm-ups. But you got to prepare just like it's any other game. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're there for two points, and that's it. Um, you know, we can't can't get too hyped up for this game. It's not, you know, that's it hurts you in the end there. Eric, um, you know, kind of feeding off that last question, you did switch your pairing um, as defense was last year, halfway through the season. Um, how did you kind of respond to that? And and in terms of this year, um, you know, where are you looking in terms of of your pairing and, and being able to switch on and off when you need to? I mean, we have a lot of good players, and it's not up to me who I play with. Wherever a coach wants me to play, I'll play with, with that guy. And I've had the privilege to play with a lot of good deep partners throughout my career at Plymouth State. And last year, I played a lot with, with Tim at the end of the year. This year, I've been paired up with Drake so far, and I think we've been looking pretty good so far. And it's just going to keep getting better and better for, for every day. 
Ryan, uh, we talk about the offense a little bit, 97 goals, 158 assists last year. How do you feel or how do you guys feel stacking up against the Salem States and the other teams in your conference? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're, we're a very good offensive team, um, but, you know, that doesn't come without us, you know, working hard and, um, you know, making sure that we're taking care of the little things in the D zone that will translate into offense. Um, you know, we take pride in our D zone and, and making sure that, you know, we're getting the pucks out, you know, to get those scoring chances. So we just got to stick to our game, you know, get the puck deep and, and keep our feet moving. And um, I think we'll be all right. And, you know, as obviously last year, you know, getting shut out in the championship game is something that you never want to happen. Um, but I think we got caught up uh, in the game a little bit too much and, you know, got away from what got us there. So just sticking to our game and, and you know, putting the puck in the back of that. Mike, uh, kind of feeding off of the offensive there, um, you're third in scoring last season on your team. Andrew Wig, Colby Lansleeve, Josh Woody no longer on the roster uh, for you guys. How do you look to fuel the team offensively as a captain of this team? Um, you know, most of, most of my goals are, I feel like a lot of them are flukes, really. Uh, but uh, most of the time, you know, we, we, we lost Matt Volnino halfway through the season last year. and. Um, he is just a, a dominant player on this team and in this league. And uh, I truly believe that having him back this year is going to be a huge impact um, towards our offensive threat. Um, we also got a D1 transfer, Ryan Stevens, uh, big body, uh, can, can score some goals too. So uh, I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of pressure on myself to, to get goals. So um, there's there's guys also like Dan Dupel that had a, had a record setting year of, of goals last year. So um, offensively, I don't find like there's any pressure on me to score or 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 contribute really because I think that they, we have such a a good surrounding group of guys that can contribute. So um, really, I'm just going to go out there and play my game. And if I do score a goal, that's going to be great. But you know, I, I think like I said, there's there's plenty of guys on this team that can really contribute. So. This last one's for Coach. Coach, your, your team lost five seniors to graduation last year. How, in your eyes, has this team progressed in the last few weeks coming together? And kind of what do you expect the team identity to be this season? Um, I think we're going to be much more aggressive uh, in all three zones this season. Um, like I said earlier, we've got a lot more size and a lot more speed. Uh, we're going to try to capitalize that on, in our defensive zone play. As Ryan said, we take a lot of pride in that. A lot of our offense is derived off of our defensive zone play and our transition play. So um, we're really going to lean on that. Uh, we will definitely lean on the ex experience that our senior class has with having nine guys. Um, there's five guys that left last year's team and, and losing Zach Fox and Colby Lanceleve obviously were big losses too. Um, but at the end of the day, we're some of our parts and we're just going to rely on the group to contribute and it doesn't matter who's going to put the goals in it doesn't matter who's going to make the saves it's going to be all of us in it together at the end of every day well fans be sure to watch panther hockey all season long they open their season this saturday at utica october 29th at 7 p.m before returning home for their home opener on thursday november 3rd versus stonehill college at 6 p.m thank you gentlemen thank you guys thank you.